8620. Let's see who we have. Hey. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> hey guys, we're in stateroom 8620 on the Disney Dream. And I'm going to give you a quick tour of the room. That way you'll know what is available to you when you walk in the door. You're going to have a really nice closet. Here are your life jackets. And here's a ladder. I'm really not sure. What's the ladder for? <laughs> bunk bed. Oh, the bunk bed. Okay. And then we have a really good size closet here <clears throat> with more life jackets and a good place to put your shoes right when you come in the door. This is, would be an excellent, excellent place to do that. Your laundry bag is also here. If you would like to do a little bit of laundry and there's a safe right behind this door right there. So there's your safe down there. The closet is a decent size, especially for a family of four. We're going to take a look at the bathroom. Let's see. In this stateroom, this is a balcony stateroom, so we have two sections to the bathroom. Here is the tub and shower. Why don't you sit inside the tub? <laughs> you sit inside sad. the tub and see what that looks like. Oh, this is interesting. I've never seen this before. Okay, I saw a picture of this, but this is... Hmm. Oh, actually, this is quite nice for a pregnant lady. Look, I can sit right here. Look, this is great. I've got plenty of room to shave my legs and do my thing here. This is awesome. Plenty good sized tub, especially for little children. We have a two year old at home. So if she would have come, she would have loved this little tub right here. She probably would have stayed here the whole time. She would have liked that. So full length mirror me. right here. <laughs> and this full length mirror, ladies, we know it's important to see if our shoes actually match our outfit. So there you go. Then we also have, of course, uh, the other part of the bathroom that no one else likes to talk about. <laughs> you do? Go ahead, dear. <laughs> See you in a few. <laughs> okay, let's take a look over here. So, if you have adjoining rooms, our neighbors were really nice. We just met them, but you can, you can get a room that's adjoining in on the Disney Dream, which is is nice if you have a larger party. Here's the bed, and it's of course loaded out here with a couple of drawers on the side. Looks like we've got an outlet, a couple of outlets underneath. Of course, there's the lamp. So come on. on Click it off for a second of, so you can see the detail. On the oh lamp. yeah, the detail on the lamp. That's pretty cool. Looky there. A couple of castles around the world. That's where the Disneyland uh, theme parks are. Mm -hmm. Look, there's a refrigerator. I like that this room also has on this clock, especially USB ports. I'm sure we'll find more of those yeah. around the room. Oh, look, the you found a refrigerator. So we've got a mini fridge over here. We have recycling and waste here. Oh, here are the fleet. The same class. The Magic Wonder Dream and Fantasy are the same class. We have some hooks over there to hang your towels, which is really important. Um, <clears throat> We have another area here with the phone, a couple of more outlets, the Holy Bible, the Gideons have placed in there. Gideons are everywhere. You have a uh, privacy curtain for parents and children. So now <laughs> one thing that happened when we came into the ship, first off, we have been watching videos about the bunk beds in the rooms and you will not see the bunk bed, it will magically appear. Magically at appear. So the bunk bed will come down from here. Shh, don't ruin the magic. And then this bed, of course, I do believe makes into a bed on its own. So we will see that magic happen a little later. <clears throat> okay, you've got a nice chest here, which does open and you can put some things in. So that'll give you a little bit more room. So where are you going to store your luggage? You're going to store it underneath the bed. And currently we have on the other side too, two jumbo bags, hard shell bags and a duffel bag that fit just barely underneath this. But for a family of four, that's plenty of luggage, probably more than you even need. Okay. So we talked about the chest right here. 
Here's your mini fridge. There you go. And it's actually a decent size. But who needs a mini fridge, really? Are we going to store maybe some water or something for them at night? And medicines if you need. But we're going to be eating, of course, in the restaurants a lot. Here's your hair dryer. <clears throat> and then we just have a couple more drawers. All right, here are our wave phones. So you can use these to get in touch with the kids or to use yourself. If the kids take it, you have to realize that they'll, you may be charged if it's lost. Even if you lose it, there will be a charge if it's, if it's lost. The theming again around the lights. Really nice TV. Area to put other items. There's plenty of storage space. If you want to get all of your stuff kind of put up and store. There's a night light over here. I'm really not sure. I guess we'll have to see this tonight. But there's a night light. So it's a there. family ocean view with a balcony. Okay. I can't find something to Ice. Cups. More storage. More drawers. Another area here of cabinetry. A little bit of info, of course, about the bed. They always put stuff here your guide to your perfect Disney cruise. So they always put a little information here. Welcome aboard. You know, what are you gonna do? What do you wanna make sure to say? So, what does it look like outside? We're still at port, we haven't left yet. So, here is the average size balcony. Let's see if we can unlock it. Oh, it's all. It says, please keep the branded door closed to maximize air conditioning. Watch your step. So one of the nice things about Port Canaveral is you literally park right here. They have security right here where they check your passports and IDs initially. Um, when you come in to park, you'll park right through here and the porters will go ahead and take your major bags, the heavy stuff with you and go back around the corner you can park in the deck for $85 for the five days that we're here, or you can do preferred parking in this triangular park for $105. Personally, I'd rather have my truck or car parked in the deck where it's covered. It is very narrow, very tight. Uh, we drove um, a car, not a SUV or a truck, and we had a hard time getting it between two lines. It's, it's really tight. But they check you multiple points of security. You then check with the, uh, once you get your initial uh, photo ID and you come through here uh, before you go through to actually check in they will put you through security look there's a crab and we have chocolates this is our first turn down of the night and look <laughs> there's Wendy up there Okay, they're bunk beds. Hey, it's all Peter Pan. Let's see what we got. It's all Peter Pan. Peter Pan. Look in the lights. Mom, can I get out? Yeah. See, Daddy? It is. Very cool. Mom, can I get out so I can You can enjoy the view, yes. I want to enjoy the view. Okay. 